Welcome back, everybody. Another glorious weekend. You guys really did surprise me with that last one. You really enjoyed it. Lots of beautiful feedback and comments. So as promised, here's another one. Matter of fact, I'm going to break this up into three little parts. It was a three-day work week, one eight-hour shift, and two 16-hour shifts. This one will be the eight-hour shift. Let's see what we can get into. Coffee's ready. Assignments are ready. We're headed to International. There's an airplane somewhere out there. We'll find it. There it is. And just like the last one with my colorful commentary. Funny story about this. Believe it or not, you can lose a jet. You ask yourself, Stig, you've lost your mind. How are you going to lose a big jumbo jet? Well, there's a lot of moving pieces and these airplanes get moved around a lot. Sometimes getting repositioned from one gate to the other, from the terminal back to the hangar, sometimes some parking spots. Yeah, and especially when you're dealing with the biggest airline in the world and you got a, over 50 jets or 30 or 40 jets parked on the ground. Yeah, you might misplace a jet, but trust me, we find it. we we'll oil it. Sometimes you got to stop and smell the roses. And working on an airport, you get to see a lot of cool stuff. I think that was an A310 taking off. Pretty cool. You don't see much of those around anymore. It's a beautiful day. All right, let's service some oil. He's a little thirsty. This one just came from Heathrow. So give it a little oil, and then I believe it's going out to Sydney later tonight. So a quick little side note here. Aircraft engines always get serviced with oil. We don't change oil on aircraft engines unless specifically needed, where a job cart tells us to do it, or if it's contaminated. So we just keep adding, and it burns off. Don't worry, it's all documented, and we monitor for high oil consumption as well. So, Otherwise, I'm just doing my general walk around over here. Check brakes, tires, overall condition. Make sure the big pieces are hanging. Woo, look at that mess. That's a lot of grease. <laughs> if you haven't watched my airplane uh, cleaning video, yeah, airplanes are extremely dirty. Grease, mud, dirt, dust, you name it, it's all over the place. But it does get cleaned. Check out that video and you'll see why and how. Okay, let's see now. Let's just check the parameters, just the basics. Hydraulics looking good. Oxygen's looking good. APU oil quantity looking good. When done with the exterior, we go upstairs and we also check parameters. Things like hydraulics, crew oxygen, making sure there's no erroneous faults, just general condition of the aircraft. We also do this to the interior of the aircraft. And if the aircraft also came in with some kind of inbound write-up in the logbook, we have to fix it or defer it. I promise you, I try to fix it. Sometimes we don't have the parts, it's gotta get deferred. Let's take a look at the engine oils. Very good. Like I said, they're gonna be repositioning this, so I, not much I can do with this one right now. As you saw with the other video, uh, sometimes we reposition aircraft. This was uh, parked at International, but it was set to go out to another International, but they need the gate space. So we gotta take it off this gate, put it on a different gate. It's called brake riding. Later on, I found out that the different crew was gonna take the airplane, but you'll see that later. And here's my bit of comedy, the, <laughs> the spinner. It's not a spinner, it's the tiller. That's how you steer on the ground, the nose wheel but I make comedy out of pretty much anything. So I, I'm, I say, if the spinner's not working, it's a no-go item. Well, the other guys ended up moving the 777, so I got another airplane's coming up. So this is the next one. As kind of usual, make sure everything's good. Hey, look at that, one of my hearts is still there. Let's refresh it. Give it a little love. There you go. Yeah, I know, it's a little silly, but I do it. What you're seeing there is the rubber from the nose wheels. When it hits the, the nose wheel stoppers, a little bit of it gets rubbed off and gets flung onto the forward bulkhead right there. And I have the habit of putting little hearts there. Same thing here, general walk around, making sure everything's okay, no leakage, no damage. You know, same thing. You know, the longer you see the same type of aircraft and then you start seeing, uh, you know, damage that usually comes in, you, your eye gets trained. You start knowing what to look for. Nobody teaches this, but it comes with experience. The more you do the job, the more you understand it and the more you know where to look. 
Now I'm not telling you to go do a D check on a line turn, don't do that. But anything that comes up as a safety of item, or excuse me, a, a safety of flight item, yeah, definitely, you gotta pay attention. So again, keen eye to detail, attention to detail, and the airplane, <laughs> and I walked right under it. That's a drain uh, mast or a drain pipe that's coming off from the pylon got me good and uh this airplane right here that's pretty cool uh we're going through the modification right here uh older 737 800s uh, have the steel brakes uh, this one got modified to become with carbon fiber brakes pretty cool look what i found anybody guess where this goes <laughs> actually the they found well they had it in the flight deck pilot says it came out one of came out of somewhere but don't, they don't remember what to see so time to go hunting oh, never mind that was easier than i thought huh. they just clip in they're, they're super easy to install sometimes passengers kick them around and just pop off bam easy done see all right do a quick little walk through she's a clean bird okay something really funny you know passengers do weird things for some reason, passengers like to take things off of airplanes, like a souvenir item. I have seen so many things missing off airplanes just because the passengers thought it'd be cool to take it. Don't do that, please. It causes maintenance headaches and it costs a lot. So yeah. So uh, if you read your safety card when you, before you fly, you would know on the 737s overhead, you have big old life rafts. They live up here. Now, two passengers, and mechanics, totally, definitely mechanics, because sometimes they forget. Make sure you have these closed, because when this comes down, you will break the doors. Let me show you. Make sure you close those doors, because it will obstruct right there. But yeah, that's the big old life raft. Massive one, it's super heavy too. So, in case of emergency, feel free to help your flight attendants. There you go. And of course, I leave a mess. I'll clean that up. There you go. All right. Otherwise, she's a good bird. Let's see now. Engine oils are good. We'll check downstairs as well. And hydraulics are good. I think this one's going out to Austin. All right. On to the next one. My fascination uh, with aircraft has always been just a lot. Even to something like this, this is a corporate jet. I have no idea how these things work. I mean, I know the basics, but I've never known anything or worked on anything that's corporate. But when I see them fly, they're just, they look so majestic and beautiful. Literally, it looks like a Ferrari in the sky. Coming up on the last flight of the night, they sent me across to the other side of the airport. This one actually landed and went to one of the 131 gates. This one stays here overnight. You just have to oil it. So it's gonna stay overnight for some maintenance. But well, that's about it for this shift. I'll make two more videos. They'll be coming up soon for the two 16 hour shifts on the next days. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Hope you learned a few things. And I will see you all later. Cheers.